What is up, my turtles? My name is Jimmy, also known as Jimmy Shortuga, and welcome to PDL Week 6. Your coach for the Herkimer Dreadnoughts facing the Lunar Mountain Lichen Rocks and coach Cyclonic Wolfos. So I hope you guys are excited for this match. Um, and it's it's good. It's going to be good. Uh, she's got a very, uh, very interesting and kind of scary team, especially with the trade into Curum Black this season uh, or this week. And there we go. Um, I'm all set. We're, we have the rules all picked out, so let the battle begin. I also have a document that I want to pull up over this way. Let's see. How right was I? How right was I? Okay, the only thing I see different is that T-Tar, no, T-Tar, no Kingdra, and Kid... Cradilly is there. Everything else was pretty spot on. Puck. Okay. So, what do here? The problem is, is that I don't know what the Savali is. Okay? So, I don't know what the Savali is. So, that should be fine. Um. But she has no way to stop Trick Room. I don't have Trick Room. Don't let her. Don't let her know that. I don't have her. Um. What do you say? We go big and strong to start off with? I think we go big and strong. Let's go big and strong. Alright, good luck and have fun. Two Wolfos, my opponent. I'm excited, I'm nervous, I'm always nervous with these battles. Boom! Alright, what do you lead? What do you lead there, Wolfos? So what do we got? What Savali is that? I don't even know what Savali that is. In all honesty. Alright, I can hit info. It's a ghost. Okay. Okay. I don't think she has any way to stop the Tailwind. And then we're just gonna Glacial Lance. Why not? <clears throat> Sweet! <clears throat> Alright. Nice, nice. Focus Sash. Multi attack. Pain. Shows off the weakness policy, but my guess is that she doubled. Gastro Acid, but it failed. Cool. Um. Not good. Alright, um. I think I am going to Brave Bird. Into the Savali. And we'll just go ahead and gl Glacial Lance. I don't think there's really any any change. Okay. Good move. Good, good, good. So Brave Bird there. And then we'll get the Glacial Lance off. Which Savali protects. And we'll get the other one. Alright, so we get rid of the Cradilly. <clears throat> and now we're setting up here. Demix. Okay. I 
I think we'll just go ahead and Brave Bird into the Lapras. And then Calyrex. Honestly, let's just Glacial Lance. I know this is uh, quad resisted, but getting some damage off the Lapras will be proven very, very useful. I mean, unless she unless she ends up max guarding, I mean, that shouldn't be a big deal. I'm assuming she's probably going to use G-Max Residence, which is one thing I didn't do for this match. I have Hitmonchan for that particular reason, yet I didn't put Brick Break on it. That's my bad. That's okay, though. Brave Bird. Yeah, it doesn't do much of anything. That's fine, though. That's fine. Then we got Glacial Lance, which there goes the Savali. We got some good da uh, good damage off the Lapras. Nothing too, too crazy. But... So now we're plus four, but I'm pretty sure this is gonna be it. And a fox, huh? Interesting. So that's gonna set up the resonance. But Fox goes down. And shows off the life orb. Perfect. So I don't necessarily have to worry about weakness policy then, showing off the life orb. Perfect. Ludicolo. So, we can drain punch here, and we're just gonna, we're just gonna Glacial Lance. Use this fake out. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. Pain. Team's Tailwind patered out. That's fine. Okay, that's fine. So Calyrex Cali probably goes down here. Eh, it still didn't die. Oh, the flinch! Bruh. Bruh. The flinch. We get some HP back, which is good. And then another G-Max Resonance. This into Hitmonchan, which because of the Drain Punch, we might survive. We do not. Okay, that's fine. The flinch, though. Bruh. Um, how do I want to play this? The double flinch kind of sucks, not going to lie. Hmm. Yeah, that double flinch kind of really sucks. Not gonna lie. I'm not comfortable sending that out. I just got one more hit off this Lapras, but I do worry about that knockoff. Let's go ahead and go into Gardevoir. I have shell armor. No crit. <laughs> you cannot crit me! <laughs> Alright, so Ludicolo is probably the fastest thing on the field. Um, but I still don't think it's going to be able to knock me out. So we're going to D-Gleam. Knock off. Okay. So see you later, Calyrex. And then there's D-Gleam. That does a lot. <laughs> Alright, let's go into Nesquik now. <clears throat> I got a bunny. Beware. <laughs> I got a bunny. Beware.
I don't have, like, any crazy things here. Who is this super effective on? Titar? Okay, that's fine. Um, honestly, it probably just makes the most sense to G-Max Fireball here. But then with the T-Tar on the field, hmm. Okay. I has idea. I has idea. Haha! <laughs> I'm just trying to make sure that the T-Tar can't hit me super effectively. I mean, I guess, to be fair, I'm probably going to hit it super effectively, so if it has weakness policy, it's going to go off. Also, Cinderace, you're loud. Max Knuckle. We're going to go into a Fighting type, which will raise my attack. This will go into Ludicolo, which does knock it out, which is good. Very nice. And that raises both of our attacks. Which is good. And then Guard of War should get off a D Gleam. Iron Head, okay. Pain! Alright, D Gleam does one and done. But the Aurora Veil is still up. Very nice. Very, very nice. Bye, Guard of War. And then there's the Aurora Veil. The Aurora Veil proving to be very, very nice. And now we have the Curum to deal with. Wonderful. That's a shiny. Wonderful. Okay, so we got P2. I think we're gonna go ahead Ice Beam. Into Tyranitar. And honestly, I just wanna... Max Knuckle. Nice! Let's go, Cinderace! Didn't expect to one-shot that thing. Let's go, Cinderace. <laughs> Rock Slide. Hits both. Not effective on next quick. Oh, the flinch! <laughs> the flinch! That's the third time she's flinched me. <laughs> That's the third time she's flinched me. And you know what? Just for the memes. <laughs> Just for the memes. <laughs> We're going fireball. <laughs> I'm probably going to die here, but we're going fireball. Yeah. <laughs> GG's. GG's, Wolfos. I just wanted to see the fireball at least one more time. But GG's, Wolfos, that was a fun battle. Uh, I greatly appreciated the uh, uh, the battle. Didn't expect really to knock out the Curum as... as uh, as quickly as as I did. Um, I was plus one, but I mean, Max Knuckle really isn't all that powerful. I mean, it's got a base 95, so I guess with plus one, I forget, uh, I forget the math behind that, but yeah, it's really good. Um, so let me just give Wolfos a GG's. <clears throat> and we're gonna be good. So yeah, guys, that's gonna do it for this uh, this battle. We end up being four and one, getting into the final week. I think that pretty much guarantees us plays uh, playoffs. It's just a matter of trying to figure out placement at this point. So we played very well, um, and uh, hopefully we can continue that versus Soy. I don't want to do too too much with Soy uh, next time. I'm gonna kind of save that for the finals. Um, so Soy better watch out and don't know what I'm going to do. Maybe nothing. Maybe I'll do everything. I don't know. I know you're watching. I know you're watching. Guys, thank you so much for watching this. Uh, please make sure to go check out, uh, all, all the, all the coaches and Wolfos aside. 
uh, and we'll go from there. But guys, thank you so much. Uh, I am Jimmy, Yimage Tortuga, your coach for the Herkimer Dreadnoughts. This has been a week six battle versus the Lunar Mountain Lycan, Ro Lycan Rocks and Coach Cyclonic Wolfos, and we will see you in the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.